Hi, my name is Kelsey Stark, and for my project, I've decided to redesign the website for the business that I currently work for, which is Lioncrest Farms. It's a horse farm located near Canton, and I've been working there for over three years as the barn manager. Um, the actual Lioncrest website isn't a bad design visually. However, I think it's a bit unorganized in places, which may put customers off and doesn't provide any opportunities for them to communicate with the business. I've used the Wix content management system to create the new website, and in my opinion, it's a very easy to use system that has a lot of great interactive features. Um, so I assessed the existing website and identified some weaknesses that I've laid out in my paper. I then defined the target market for the new site using buyer personas and on-site research, and then I then redesigned the website, making sure I followed some user experience guidelines. I found that on some pages on the old Lioncrest website, I had to do a lot of scrolling to see everything, which isn't a major problem, but I think it could be done better as it looks a bit untidy. Um, more importantly though, was that there was no obvious way to contact the business, as the phone number is in the header, but apart from that, there's only the contact page, and that has the information hidden away, making it difficult for potential paying customers to get in touch. Therefore, I looked at the user experience honeycomb, and while the old site is useful, usable, and credible, it is not desirable, findable, or valuable. Um, to make the new site more desirable, I created a new color palette and scheme, and I used the red from the logo as an accent color. And that you can see while moving around the website, contrasting it against the gold, even though they're not direct complementary colors, I think that it works really well and creates a premium look and feel to the site. Um, then I applied a consistent font set across the website using one option for the headings and a different but similar option for everything else to keep it more uniform. Um, if I was doing a full redesign of the company's website, I would try and get a professional photographer for half a day to take some high resolution photos for the website and I'd also get them to film some short video clips for each of the pages. Uh, I made the site more findable by clearly defining the menu header at the top of the page and setting it to freeze so that even if you do scroll down to the bottom of the page you are on, the menu header freezes at the top of the page and is always easy to get to and use. On the mobile version, I added a back to top button on each page that appears when you begin to scroll down. Because of the depth of some of the pages, it can be quite long, a long way back to the top, so this shortcut makes it easier to get back to the navigation menu. The biggest change over the existing Lioncrest website is that I added contact forms across the website. Um, this is really important because generating leads and encouraging communication has become the main purpose of the website and this is where I feel I've really improved the value of the site. Uh, as I mentioned before, it was difficult to find any contact information on the old site, but now there are forms on most pages next to the product information where I also added a Facebook share button. Uh, I'd rather use multi-platform sharing buttons, but Wix doesn't offer that as an option without adding a third-party plugin. I think that with a clear strategy, an extended A-B testing program could really help turn this new site into a well-performing marketing tool. A-B testing would help tweaking the design, layout, and format. Uh, I would also do some user research as well as buyer personas, usability testing, use cases and studies in particular, and I would set up a Google Analytics account to get some data on inbound traffic. If the analytics showed that some pages were performing better than others, I might use a pay-per-click advertising on those pages, and at the same time, I would reevaluate the pages that were underperforming. Thank you for watching.